When you say the word home, I think about family, I think about uh, meals together, I think about coming back, you know, for Christmases and holidays, having that one place that you go back to, that's home. Yeah, it's, it's a process. I mean, every time we get a new box and pack something in it, it gets more exciting. And we're already looking kind of in advance for what we're gonna need for the new house. We've never owned a home. We've never had a place that we could call our own. When the foundation was laid, we were just probably smiles for weeks on end. You couldn't tell us a thing. And then uh, the frame went up. And then the frame, the second story went up. The closer we get, the more real it becomes, the more it's like Christmas time when you're eight, you know? You just can't wait to see the finished product. Me and Terrence used to joke we'd never own a house until our kids were grown up and out of the house. It's kind of awesome that we are gonna be able to own a house while we still have children in the house. <laughs> when I first heard about Habitat, I was kind of against it because I didn't really know a lot about it and I'm I, nothing's for free. I didn't want a handout, first off. I wanna work for everything that we have. Me being who I am, pushed and pushed and pushed until he decided to to give it a, a shot. It just seemed kind of hard to believe that, really, you know, with sweat equity, we could get this. I thought it was too good to be true. And now that I know that, that it's it's the real deal, it's, I mean, it's, it still makes me smile every time I think about it. This whole process has taught me a lot. It's taught me that people from so many different backgrounds, so many different diverse situations could come together and build something beautiful because not only are we building our own houses, we've got a hand in building our neighbor's homes and the people three doors down, we help build those houses. Knowing that we did this, that we were able to pull together as a family and get this done, it's, it's a great sense of accomplishment for, for us, um, knowing that both of us grew up in poverty. I didn't know it, but I, I think I longed for some more stability when I was a kid. You know, I just kind of rolled with the punches. But looking back and knowing what I know now, that, that could have changed things for me. Being able to give my children what I've always wanted to give them, stability, a place to call home. It'll be a dream come true. <laughs> As a child, we were evicted a few times. And actually, when me and Terrence were young, we would struggle to pay rent. We'd have to figure out are we going to pay this bill or feed the kids? We dealt with certain stresses as kids uh, that our kids will never know. It's hard to focus on your midterms or your homework or a school project when you know that you've got an eviction notice or you've got to move. I can't even put into words how grateful I am to get my kids into their own home. Just that they'll have, I think they'll have a good life um, just by us making this one decision. If we would have gone another route, we could be renting for the rest of our life, living in a dump, barely being able to get by paying somebody else's mortgage. I think our kids deserve a fair shot, and I think that's what we're giving them.